This is a story about the unlikely connection between tired old mattresses and the wildly successful mining industry. It all begins in Duluth, Minnesota, where, just like every community in the United States, they have a major disposal problem. Something had to be done with mattresses going into the landfills because they just don't decompose over time. It is a major problem. What you see here is just two days' supply from 10 Minnesota counties. In fact, from this part of Minnesota alone, more than 40,000 used mattresses find their way into the waste stream every year. There's a lot of mattresses out there that need squishing. But the springy springs are almost impossible to compress without this one-of-a-kind machine built by Clint DeRuss. It's a gigantic press installed at Goodwill Industries. It's doing exactly what we expected it to do. In minutes, up to four mattress springs are scrunched into a compact bale of high-quality steel weighing about 90 pounds. And that's not all that's recovered here at Goodwill. It's about 90% of every piece that we take apart here is recyclable. The foam is stripped and baled for recycling. <laughs> and the wood from box springs will be chipped to be reused as fuel. The bales of what were once mattresses and box springs have a ready local market. Almost daily, trucks are loaded for the short haul to a local foundry where a spectacular transformation takes place. Dropped into furnaces where the temperature reaches 3,000 degrees and mixed with other scrap, the old mattress springs are reborn as mill liners for the mining industry. Liners that wear out quickly in the giant tumbling drums. Then they come back here to be melted down again. That mattress spring keeps getting recycled forever. It's really kind of a win-win operation for everybody. Jason Davis, 5 Eyewitness News on the road, Duluth, Minnesota.